Hear the word of God for the people of God. We gather together today to reflect on the word of God and hear what it might be saying to us, both individually and corporately. As we reflect on these passages, we invite the Holy Spirit to illuminate what we see and hear. God, speak to us even now. Hear from the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors by the prophets at different times and in different ways. In these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. God has appointed him heir of all things and made the universe through him. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact expression of his nature, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. How is it that even now, even today, God the Father speaks to us through Jesus Christ. Here now, from the word of the Lord in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through Him, and apart from Him, not one thing was created that has been created. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not overcome it. Though God is infinite, through the incarnation he became a finite man in the person of Jesus. That same Jesus, the one who shines as a light in the darkness, was broken poured out for us. As we reflect on his sacrifice, where do we see this infinite light shining even today? Here again from the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors by the prophets at different times and in different ways. In these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. God has appointed him heir of all things and made the universe through him. The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact expression of his nature, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. This is the word of God for the people of God. Father, we ask that you would bless the hearing of this, your word and that we might become people shaped and molded by your spirit. 